And we're back with the track that I hate the most, but seem to have somewhat level of success at the STP 500 at Martinsville Speedway. Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3. <laughs> well, after a couple of mediocre races, a couple of 14 place finishes in Phoenix at ISM, and then last night at Auto Club, we're looking to actually make some noise here in Martinsville. Going to go ahead and jump into qualifying. Just heard some big news for the NFL that I'll go over once the race started. Big, big news, big prediction um, on my part that I think a lot of us are going to end up seeing coming. But as you can see, I have trouble controlling on the inside there. That's part of the reason. It's such a slow track around the corner. I just don't like trying to drive it. But I'm hoping to get a higher qualifying spot than what I've dealt with. I've been dealt low 20s most of this time. And so I'm going to try to avoid getting low 20s. Let's see what this did. All right, 13th. We can deal with that. We'll deal with that. Hopefully that means inside lane unless somebody started at the back. And I just missed who got pole. So we'll go right back around, rounding up the top five here. Johnson, Truex Jr., Blaney, Almirola, Harvick and somebody else that I didn't read fast enough. Uh, Harvick, yeah, that was it. And then we've got Bowman and Elliott above us. All those guys are having good seasons. They're actually up there point standing. We're still in third because uh, Bush won the race and Logano finished like second or third. And so STB 500, Menard starting in the back. So we're automatically going to start 12th. Which is one of my favorite numbers. I wore 12 um, playing middle school basketball and then wore 21 because 12 was unavailable in high school. Um, but 12 was my dad's number, so I wore that uh, most of the time. Then I switched it up when I played rec league and did the number 22 and then the number 31 at some point. So that's where 2231 comes in my username. So. We're already getting past to the inside. Suarez driving like an idiot. Inside, inside. Trying to get fight right back up. Bush has got his caramel M&M's car. One of the cooler ones that he's got, it's that blue one. And this is this is going to be a messy race. Be prepared for one or two cautions. Um, you know, 25% of this race is 125 laps. Luckily, it's a bit of a shorter track, so we should fly right through him. Um, we're going to see about how fast we can go here. Anyway, big sports news that just happened a little while ago. Tom Brady earlier today, um, and it is the 17th of March at the time of recording. It'll probably end, this video will probably end up being out on the 14th or 15th. Um, Tom Brady had put out a, uh, a big uh, statement basically saying that he was not returning to the Patriots organization. Well... He hasn't signed anywhere, but Philip Rivers, um, the old San, uh, I say San Diego, I guess Los Angeles Chargers quarterback, just signed with the Indianapolis Colts, which means that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers still need a quarterback. And the only team to offer Brady a two-year deal for more money than what he was getting offered from New England, which was a one-year deal for less money, and anywhere else was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And not only are they going to go after Tom Brady, but it looks like they're going to go after Antonio Brown. So imagine the weapons Brady's going to have when he's got Antonio Brown and Mike Evans at the receiving the receiving slots there. And it looks like Jason Witten from my, uh, my own favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys, is going to sign with the freaking Raiders. So, which, by the way, I fully expect the Raiders to at least have a logo rebrand to, to go with Vegas. I'll probably put some Vegas bling in there. So hanging out here in eighth. It's a lot better than we've dro driven in, uh, in other races here. Hello, Boyer. Out of the way. But yeah, as soon as I say that we, uh, we gained a spot, we lose one. But Martinsville, I've always... Hated Martinsville for the, the tight turns and as slow as I have to go. Every time I tap the accelerator, it, it just spins me around. 
Um, I've gotten a little bit used to it. And like I had said, um, I raced a truck race season in NASCAR Heat, uh, Heat 2. And I actually ended up getting my first win in Martinsville. Um, so I kind of have decent hopes for this track. All I want to do is finish higher than Kyle Busch. Try to catch back up to him in the point standing. He's up by a good, like, 30 points on both me and Joey Logano, who's also up by, like, two points on me. Unfortunately, I think Logano's sitting up there in, like, fifth. He's right up there in front of Bush. And so lap traffic should be coming around at any minute, and we should be all right. But we've got, what, 50 laps of fuel left? Um, should be should be an exciting race. This is uh, This is the short track that can be the devil's little... The devil's daughter, whatever you want to call it. I don't I don't know. The bane it typically see right there. Bane of my existence. <laughs> and now they've got space on me. And now I'm gonna have to make that up. And Harrison Rhodes is gonna go to the Uh stick it to the outside. Are you gonna let me pass you? Yeah, he's uh he's lap traffic. He don't care. I feel bad for Harrison Rhodes this year. He had that one top five finish in the second race of the season and has not done well at all since so we, I feel bad for us. Now, if we've done better, whoops, sorry, Chase. Sorry, Chase, I'm coming to the inside. Woo! Anyway. Um, oh, wow, run to the outside. Run to the outside. Hello, fourth place. Maybe bumping Chase Elliott wasn't all that bad. Now we've got our teammate Logano, Team Penske. And it looks like Jimmy Johnson is up here as well. He's finally got a better uh, better qualifying spot than he ever has all season. He's finished, you know, top half of the pack. But uh, for the most part, he's finished like 15, 16, I'd say probably 12 to 20 range. He needs a win. He is the he's the king of Martinsville, though, I bet. Let's see. Oh, we passed them both. We're in second. Who took first place up here? I can't see. Is that... um? Kurt Busch up here on the outside? No, that's Trix Jr. Here I come, Marty. Anyway, I feel bad for us. We had that one win at Daytona and haven't made much noise elsewhere. We got seventh second race of the season, and the last two races we've gotten 14th. And we just took first place. Here we go. In lap traffic, this is going to help us more than anything else. I drive, personally, I think I drive really well in lap traffic. Um, anyway, I know I spent last episode talking about uh, racing Phoenix with my buddies and how much I didn't like it. Um, we finished, please don't cause, please don't, no. I told you it was going to be a messy race. Anyway, I raced uh, Martinsville with my buddies too, and the one guy that I race with is uh, extremely, extremely good at at Martinsville as well. If I ever race with him, I have no chance of beating him and it, by any stretch of the imagination. Matt DiBenedetto, you had a couple of good races to start the season, but we're, we're five races into it, six races into it. You're not doing so hot. Hemrick, I wish Hemrick would do better. I've said this in multiple episodes, but I did an Xfinity series in NASCAR Heat 2. Um, he was always my, my guy that I raced with. Now it's uh, Truex. Like Daniel Truex or something. I don't know. Anyway, we've actually taken first place. Um, and we actually hold the lead for more than a lap for the first time since Daytona. And so, happy for us. Let's see, it's murder on my right tires, especially that right front. I don't want to blow a tire at all. Chris Boucher driving that Bush's Baked Beans. Um, brown car there. One of the more interesting looks, I think. Tell me the Bush's secret, Chris. Here we go. We've got Austin Dillon in his green E15 car. That's a nice one, too. I really do like that one. Last time, last race around um, at Auto Club, we saw um, Ty Dillon in the Geico car, he drove his Twisted T yellow car, which is also one of my favorite cars from him. I have my favorite paint schemes for guys, not going to lie. Um, the Loves car, whoever um, whoever drives the Loves car right now, um, and I can't remember his name right off the top of my head, even though I just passed him. 
I always race his throwback. It's like a cream-colored car with like red, like a burnt orange or red and a yellow stripe on the side going up from the bottom. Gorgeous car, in my opinion. Awesome to race at night. But, yeah, I guess the Cowboys aren't going to get Tom Brady this year. <laughs> Although I wouldn't have cared one way or another. I mean, the only way we were going to get him is if we traded Dak Prescott, and I don't think the Cowboys are willing to do that. Although we're still in contract talks and trying to figure out what in the world we're going to do with that. I figured we could trade him for, like, the fifth pick in the draft. Draft somebody like Jalen Hurts and then uh, and then let Brady take the reins for, like, two years. And the only reason I say that is Jalen Hurts is the same style quarterback as Dak Prescott, so let him learn from the greatest quarterback, debatably, of all time. Definitely in the past, uh, the past decade, past era, past 20 years. Um, let him learn from him, and then when he comes back, when uh, Brady finally retires, he'll be able to take the reins. We are really gaining on people now. I didn't expect to race this well at Martinsville, not going to lie. Takes me a couple laps to get used to it, but we're already about to lap the, uh, the bottom feeders twice. We are, I, I can't see anybody by the time. Everything's in the front windshield here. Let's give you guys a bit of a different view. Go from a cockpit point of view. I love how the engine sounds different. There's different sounds and everything. Um, depending on what camera angle you have, a lot of times games would just give you the same sounds. But this is interesting in the fact that it gives you different uh, different sounds. So since we're calm and we're not hanging out in a pack right now, we'll, uh, we'll race cockpit camera. Here comes a caution. Somebody's, uh, I bet, somebody's smoking up here. It's really slowed down. Who is it? Looks like Blaney. Is it Blaney? I think it's Blaney or Suarez. I'm in the grass. <laughs> yeah, that's all sorts of illegal. Oh, no. It's Harrison. No, Harrison. He's always, I don't know why, but ever since he got fifth place, he's been one of my favorite guys this year, this uh, this specific series. Dang, we're, we're lapping Byron. We're lapping Bowman. Lapping everybody. Yeah, I think he's going to be a DNF. I don't know what caused him to uh, to start smoking like that, but I haven't gotten halfway through a race without a DNF. I think last time, I couldn't tell you who it was last time, but uh, I think um, Harvick in uh, at ISM, Harvick at ISM was a DNF, so he's going to be behind in the point standings. Actually, let's race from here for a while. I think uh, in the point standings, Harvick ended up not finishing. Liberty University. I got a couple of friends who go to Liberty University. Um, I played against a kid who's playing at Liberty University. He's like a third string center. Um, but I played against him in high school, which if you look it up, that'll give away where I'm living, but that's all right. Um, anyway, the kid was like six foot, like eighth grade, or seven foot in eighth grade, so there's no way. No way he wasn't going to at least get scouted. Um, Liberty is also one of the most expensive schools in the nation. That's why I would never go there. Most of the colleges I would consider going to are in Florida. Man, we barely missed. But, um, shoot, now I can't remember. I'm always doing this. I'll, I'll think of the guys right away, and then I'll just forget their names right off the bat. But we did shake up the car a little bit. I was going to do just the uh, discount tire car, but we did the discount tire car with uh, the Bruce Hale, the like RIP Bruce Hale on the front there, 1930 to 2018, and uh, the Pennzoil logo underneath. See what I mean? It's just a messy race for me. But I might put up two videos today. I know um, there's a possibility I do that. I know I put up... Uh, Auto Club earlier today, which is the day I'm recording, um, and usually I'll wait till the day after to put another episode up. But I've had a couple of days off, and the hours at my work are weird because of the quarantine. A lot of like self quarantine going on, um, and so I might, I'm trying to put up more and more as time goes on, just to kind of blitz YouTube um, and kind of take the opportunity to post as much as possible. I'm going two laps up on some of these guys up here. Larson's about to be two laps down. His credit one car. His cars are like that matte paint color, which I don't mind at all. 
I considered taking control of him instead of Keselowski um, for this season, but I gotta do I gotta do Brad. I can't do Brad like that. I can't not use him. Galding, I think, is about to go three laps down. Somebody else is smoking here. Let's see who's headed. Is that Bubba Wallace? That is Bubba Wallace. Galding, please don't spin. It's been a clean, a, a decently clean race. Let's see what I see. Uh, left side and the front and the rear are damaged, but not enough to really make a difference. I don't think anybody's catching up to me right now. Yeah, most of these guys are almost a lap down. So about five, I have like five seconds to make up. We're passing the uh, top 10 guys now, and I just threaded the needle right there. I'll stick behind Menard because I am not about to go three wide at Martinsville. This MDS car, the 38 here for, uh, for Reagan is really, really nice. That's one of the cars, if I had to drive as him, if I had no choice but to drive as him, I would use that car. Let's face it, I would race Brad, I like Brad. And now we're three wide in a turn. Let's just slide, whoop. Let's try to slide, yep, down low here. Did Harrison manage to come out? Is that what I just saw? Was it him pulling out of pit lane or was that uh, hitting a bunch of buttons here? I'm trying to bring up my rear view. Or is he still stuck in pit lane? He might be done. Well, another uh, a bit of bad news too. Um, the Brooklyn Nets, who are um, supposed to be and probably next year a front runner for the NBA title, um, four of their players came out reported as having um, the coronavirus. So prayers and condolences up to them and anybody else affected by it. Obviously, we hope you all get better soon. Get back to living your life. Man, there's just groups of seven or eight cars all packed together. I see Chase Elliott up here. Yeah, if I can get a second win, that'll help a lot. Logano's in ninth. So as long as I finish higher than he is, as long as he's not like right behind me, I should finish and be able to hang on to my spot. I think, wow, I think Elliott just blew a tire. He's shaking so bad, or was throughout that turn. Whoa! Sorry, Kurt. Slamming into his backside there. Ross Chastain. Ross, get out of my way, Ross. There's that Caramel M&M's car. He keeps finishing top five. Kyle Busch is going to end up winning point-wise. He might run away with it. There might not even be a point at race in Homestead by the time we're done with this. We're only five races into the season, and I'm like borderline like this is a wrap, bro. Jimmy Johnson finally having an awesome race for himself. Please don't throw a yellow for that. I just kissed the wall. I'm fine. I don't need a restart right now. Although, I don't think a pit stop would be bad. My tires are kind of kind of getting messed up. Boyer, you've got to be kidding me. I had that lane. I think Bush is stuck in lap traffic as well as Harvick's up here and Johnson are up here. I'm going to try to get to the inside of the bush on this turn here. I did. I got it. So we're going to keep lapping. I'm really bumping into the back of Johnson. The front of my car is just messed up. I'm going to go in for repairs because I know I'm two laps up on everybody at this point for the most part, except for whoever's in second place. And I think that's Truex right here. Yep. Three wide in Martinsville. That's going to result in a caution if I don't just, whoa, dive down low, Casey Kane. I'm in the grass. I'm okay. I can actually race really, in my opinion, really passive at this point. I'm up with the top five again. And I'm racing like I've got the entire race to lose, which I know if I don't race like this, I'm going to end up messing something up. I raced a little more passive at Phoenix trying to figure out the lanes, and I ended up placing 14th. That will always stick with me. Just kidding. Come on, Truex. No, that was Harvick. Save it, Harvick. See, look at the front of my car. We're all dinked up. Ty Dillon over here. Mr. Geico. Every time I think Geico, and I've said it in the past two videos, every time I think Geico, I think for over 75 years, Geico has saved customers money on car insurance. Excuse me, hundreds of dollars on car insurance. 
Wonder what race will race the uh, military car in. But anyway. Well, from what I've heard from NASCAR, they're just going to pick up the season again at Martinsville. It's going to be shut down until Martinsville, which I think, what, we've got uh, two races? Well, supposedly two races until Martinsville, I think. Unless they're talking about the Martinsville later in the season. Um, and I see a couple of people watching the stream. If anybody knows that 100% sure, just drop that in the comments. I'll confirm that. Um, I do stream all of my episodes um, live on Mixer.com. Um, I don't really time them out, but uh, if you happen to catch me, catch me. <laughs> we'll have a lot of fun over here. I'll actually, uh, I'll actually stream the race. You guys get to see. Um, I might start streaming practice and officially recording for the race. Uh, we'll see. Well, I'm getting the lanes down. Part of me doesn't want to stream any practice laps because that just takes away from things to talk about during the stream. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. 55 of 125. We'll end at like um, with eight laps of gas left. We'll have. I'm trying to think. 56 plus eight. 60. Is that 66? 64? Something. 60 something laps. So. And we have 69 laps to go. So. We should be fine with one pit stop. And I'm going to go for everything tires, repairs, fuel, because my tires aren't going to last a whole nother 70 laps here. Especially that right front. It's at 22%. The rear tires are taking a beating, too. I don't know why that left front tire isn't. But, uh. Or the left front, yeah. But the rear, the rear two are, are taking an absolute beating. And I think we're really still gaining on people. Matt DiBenedetto up here, kissing the wall. Excuse me. Um, he's really struggling right now. Like I said, he raced well in, um, in Daytona. I think he was a top ten finisher. And then a top ten finisher the race after. Um, which I couldn't tell you where it was, but um, yeah, he's really struggled. Suarez ain't worth anything. I can't believe he's up in the top 20. I don't think he finished uh, in front of us either at Phoenix or I or uh, excuse me ISM. I know there's two different races in Arizona there, but ISM and. Uh, Auto Club yesterday, but and Jones up here. What car are you driving, Jones? Let me see if I can get by him. His car, it's the Circle K car, and it says take it easy on the side, and I'm driving as aggressive as ever. Just, no, I will not be taking it easy. Blaney, Team Penske. I don't want to wreck anybody. I would prefer not to have an accident this time around. We had like four cautions at Auto Club. All right, next lap. Next lap, we're going for a pit. We're getting everything. It's going to be like a 30 second pit stop. But I don't care. Trevor Bain, the Advocare car, one of the coolest cars that he's actually got the black with the all white logo. I'm just going to hit the bottom lane Drop here. Drop your speed, driver. There we go. 30 miles an hour through pit lane. Oh, we're crawling. We are crawling. Oh no. Estimated fuel after pit 60 laps. We might have to we might have to pit a second time. Ah crap. Oh no. That is not good. And the fact that pit lane is so long. Did Logano get a DNF, or is he just pitting? Nah, he's just pitting. Okay. So some people are starting to pit already. Jones is coming into pits. 
Now he's leaving pit. Harvick is leaving the pits. I literally just passed Jones like a lap ago. There's no way he pit faster than I did. Well, let's get back to uh, burning rubber. 59 laps of fuel, 61 laps to go. How far up are we on, people? Wow, okay. They are back on top of us. We managed to hold the top. Bane, what are you doing? Wow. Okay. We just avoided a huge, monstrous crash. And we're not going to pit. Everybody else sort of pitted. Coming to the green, driver. We're still in first, but we're Red. we're back uh, back with the pack here. Fifty-seven laps. Oh yeah, came out of that turn perfectly. We got space, ladies and gentlemen. We are flying. 30, 40, 50, 55 laps to go, I think. And we have 56 laps of fuel. We may have done it perfectly again. It may have been a perfect pit stop. We may have led most of this race by the end of it. Hopefully, yeah, 55 laps to go, and we got about 55 laps of fuel. We might be coasting to the finish. But if we can get that lap space, if we can start lapping people again, yeah, that'd be nice. Truex is kind of sticking to us. He's right there. But I'm coming out of these turns nice and hot. Even no matter what lane I take. Never mind, we're in the grass. Truex is passing us. Wow, we may have done messed up. Wow, I just had the I hit the I hit the lane there. I hit that bottom lane in the turn, that little yellow guard line, and the car just got picked up up from under me. And then Bane, Bane just spun out, so I'm assuming his car did the same thing. But I'm surprised I didn't hit him. And now I just hit the wall. Out, back or down, back. And we got a yellow flag for that. Well, still not pitting. May have been beneficial for us. Martin Truex Jr. may have run away with it after that. Whoopsie. Pace car is off. Be ready. And the top six, dri ready. six drivers are the only ones on the lead lap. Three. So, Let's see if we can beat Truex out to this. Uh, Back line here, the high line. Nope, hitting the grass again. We're doing the same thing again. We're getting nervous. We're getting shaky. Can't be doing that. Elliot's ahead of us now. Don't mess this up. We were in the lead. We had lap traffic. We had everything, and we're going to mess it up off of two restarts. Oh, we're going to give Elliot a couple of taps, let them know we're there. I think they've had time to pit at this point. If they haven't, they're absolutely crazy, and they've been saving fuel like a madman. Coming off of that turn, Hot. I made it. I'm on the inside. Elliot, get out of my freaking way. You're going to end up in a wall. Keep it up. That was your best lap ever. Best lap ever? What? It wasn't one of the ones where I was lapping people? Time to catch Harvick and uh, Truex. Come on. See now this is where this is where I have a lot of trouble talking because my concentration is setting in. I'm up in the top three. Come 
Come on, come on. All right, we're, we're sliding in right behind Harvick. We're actually bump drafting Harvick. Slide to the inside. We're underneath him, making a run. All right, Trix, get out of the way. Just let me pass peacefully. Front of my car is probably already damaged again. Not near as bad as it had been, but we've got to get to the inside of Truex. We're going to fly into this turn right here. We did it. We're on the inside, and now block. Just go, just go into those turns just a little bit hot. Speaking of hot, if you look at our oil temperature up there, that's freaking hot. It's at 100, 223. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's really bad. Maybe that's why we haven't been coming off of the turn so fast. Maybe we need to take a little bit of tape off. Unfortunately, I think that's gonna cause the car to get a little bit tighter than I like it right now. We're doing night, we're doing pretty all right. Getting into lap traffic now. I have not paid any attention to that. So if it's been riding, if it's just gonna ride at the 220s, um, I'm gonna see what happens. Hope that we don't have like complete engine shutdown. See, now it's dropping to like 218. It's, I, I think when I'm behind people and I'm stuck in traffic, I'm gonna ride a little hot. But uh, I don't think it's any reason to try to like pit and take, uh, take anything out. So 38 laps left, and we got 42 laps of fuel. We're going to make it, ladies and gentlemen. We won't be pitting again unless a tire blows, which is right now a very big possibility just because I would get out of the way, Ross. Um, because of how, uh, how messy this track has been. Went to go see – I went to go see um, – Went to go see The Hunt last night. That was a good movie. It was about, uh, it, it's like The Purge and The Hunger Games mixed together. Basically, um, these rich people were joking about a hunt, um, like hunting humans for sport on, um, on like social media. So all of them got fired from their jobs, went viral on social media, and several people were commenting that they thought they were stupid and, and, you know, should answer for what they're doing, even though it was supposedly a joke. So by the end of it, this lady, the one that everybody's hating on, decides, the rich lady that everybody hates on, decides that she's going to make it a real thing. So, that being said, the hunt becomes a real thing, and they actually bring in people who are commenting all those mean things. That's all I'm going to say about that movie. Because it was fun. It was a bit gory. Um, there was a death right away in the movie. We're about to spin Reagan. We're about to spin Reagan. Don't do it. Right on the sidewalk. If you guys have ever watched The Dark Knight, there's a scene in The Dark Knight where they're trying to go save uh, Rachel. And Jim Gordon is riding, and all of a sudden he just yells, Mount the curb! And they drive on the sidewalk. That's how I feel every time we, uh, we end up hitting, the, uh, hitting the, guard, the guard bar down here. All right, now we're in lap traffic, and it seems like we're getting distance on everybody else. Truex is still back there. He's probably right behind Dylan. See what I mean? It's a bit of a couple of la messy laps, but I mean... It could work. I'm all right. Out of the way, LaJoy. See, these guys, they need to reprogram this where um, the teammates will work better together like, um, from, like, Team Penske or Joe Gibbs Racing or anything like that. Like, if you're in the lead, there's a guy behind you. And say, I come up and pass, like, Ryan Blaney in the 12 from Team Penske. He'll actually move and block whoever's like behind me. You know, that would be awesome if they could do something like that. Because Blaney at this point I would say is not going to win this race. 
it's either going to be me, Truex, or I'd give it to, you know, Chase Elliott. But Blaney's a good 15 seconds behind. Um, Truex is four, so I'm gaining on him. Gaining space. But uh, we're uh, we're racing calm up here. One thing I used to do, uh, racing inside line, back on the Wii, is to qualify at Martinsville, and it actually went pretty fast. I would just put my car up against the wall on this side over here. So like, let me see if I can actually do it. I'm far enough ahead. I would like go like that and just let it ride around the wall. Oh, great. Here comes the caution. It actually stopped me. They fixed that. Fun. And now we're racing for our life again. Well, that was stupid. If we lose the race, it's because of my stupidity trying that. Although Truex is still back there in lap traffic. There's too many cars for him to try to slide through really anywhere right now. Although Stenhouse wants to wants to take a sniff on my back bumper. One thing they also need to fix is having the rear view mirror in multiplayer. That was one of the biggest pet peeves for my buddies and I who will race with each other. We'll race split screen and we don't have uh, like the rear view mirror up top there. I actually have to look Yeah, I think my car actually took a took a hit off of that turn. We've only got 23 laps left, but we would always have to use the stick, so we would have to like look back like that. Anyway, we'll go back to cockpit view for a few laps as long as we can hold Stenhouse back and not have to worry about him. Please don't hit the wall. Uh, we saved that one. He's going by us. I don't blame him. He's in 23rd. As long as I don't start seeing Truex in my rear view, we'll be all right. This new headset is a godsend. I know last night was the first time I recorded an episode in it, but uh, we'll be all right. Slow down. We're starting to cut way to the outside here. But anyway... Yeah, I've been messing with the headset uh, positioning and everything. The uh, microphone, the little stick for the microphone is just a little bit shorter than I would have liked it. The other ones were a little bit longer. They could curl all the way around you know, the front of my face if I needed them to. This one hangs off more to the side. There's still a pop filter, which I'm personally, I like pop filters. On the grass again. See, it's just like that. I'm, I'll have the occasional lap like this. I think if I were to play multiplayer, I'd be all right at this track, but people would hate racing against me because I could potentially place, like, top 15, top 10, but I would be messy while I'm doing it. I mean, you see how messy I am right now. Imagine it with uh, people who don't have CPU, you know, CPU drivers. But anyway, swing it around here. I did get to try a new chip today. The Lay's has a cheddar jalapeno chip. Not the uh, jalapeno lime that Anthony Davis did, but uh, cheddar jalapeno. And it's pretty, uh, they're pretty good. I like them. It's not like in your face spicy. It's just a little bit spicy. Stenhouse is actually making up ground on the pack. I don't know if he's been lapped by anybody else, but we'll uh, we'll find out. He's going to end up catching up to these guys. I hate that he's not on my team. I might try to get up there and give him a bump. He's a Ford, though. Maybe I can help him just because he's a Ford. I like the Ford, I like the Mustangs now. 
Fusions are nice. The Mustangs are better. Nope, we're not going to help Stenhouse at all. We're just going to slam into his back end. We ain't going to push him. I used to race, uh, a lot of times I'll race, whenever I race Stenhouse, I'll race his Sunny D car. His Sunny D car is a fun car. I like it. Blaney, fifth. Okay, so we're up back up to like the top five guys starting to lap them again. Bowman's in 18th. I don't think he's won a race this year yet. He's not that good yet. Eric Jones. Oh, no. Oh, no. Three wide. I'm in lap traffic, and I'm still racing like I've got the entire race to lose. Ugh. This might be people's least favorite track to race against me on. Well, uh, we'll have to see. Maybe I'll do some online uh, online episodes. Cause online, all I know about online is it's just a cluster, cluster of a mess up. I don't know, man. I could, I could go to sleep. I could go to sleep right now. We're in first. We are half a lap up on Truex. Ten laps to go. I think we're safe unless there's a restart. Truex just blasts out. Ross, out of my way, Ross. I'm just gonna say that every time we lap him. Now that's gonna be the thing. Oh, fast, too fast. Sorry, Larson. I don't like you anyway. Ah, I do like you. It's all right. I think the only person. Whoa, engine's running hot. 120 or 225. Can we make it? Can we make it? Our engine block's starting to run hot. Can we make it, please? Can we make it? I really, really, really don't want to have to, to have to pit. I don't want my car to overheat. Please don't blow up on me. Please don't blow up. I'm in first place with like seven laps to go. I don't need this. Ah! Ah, don't spin. Save it, Eric. That better not be Suarez in second place. That's blasphemy if he is. Okay, so anywhere under 100 miles an hour, I should be fine, right? But the minute I hit 100, it's like, oh, your temperature, too high. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slide right in here. I don't think, uh, I don't think Truex is gonna catch me. He's 11 seconds behind. I'm just gonna slide in behind like Almarola and these guys, run a little bit slower, and I'll be all right. Because I don't want to have to go into pit. I don't want my car to blow up on me. Never mind. We're just gonna fly by Almarola. Five laps. Let's take it to the checker. Newman. Yep, I'm using it. That's Sorensen. I have never seen Sorensen race all that well. I think Ross Chastain raced better last race at Auto Club. I think he was like 18th or something. Anyway, if you guys want to see another episode today, um, I'll see. That'll be like three on the day because I probably will just post this right away. Um, but I don't have much else to do on my days off. There's no sports to watch, so I might as well bring sports entertainment of some sort to people. Oh, that's an awful view from the cockpit. Should we do a, uh, you guys want to do a burnout from the cockpit? Or do we want to do a burnout from out here? We won't have all that much gas to burn out. But I don't think that actually uh, that actually counts. Jimmy, what place are you going to end in? 11th. He fell. He was top three for most of this race, top five for most of the race. He's fallen back down. And that's about the kind of season that he's putting up so far. White flag, ladies and gents. I'm going to cruise right in behind Jimmy J. Let's go, Jimmy Jam.
And we did it. We finally got a second win. Surprisingly enough, it's been at the racetrack that I have hated for so long. But we got win number two. Heck yeah. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh, did we skip a burnout? What? Did we wait too long? No! <laughs> we don't get to burn out. We waited. I was waiting for some of these. Yeah, Harrison Rhodes ended up getting a DNF. Dang. That sucks. That really sucks. And look, we're on the grass even in post-race. I wanted to burn out. That's so stupid. <laughs> Back up in second place, though. Kyle Bush, man, he is uh, hes really pushing, pushing those points. I don't even know where he finished. It was a paying attention. Dang. There we go. Get that grandfather clock. We did it. Way to go, Brad. We did it, we got the grandfather clock. I'm so happy. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. I'm so happy though. We got win number two of the season. Let's head back, finish the, uh, finish the event. Fastest lap, 19.742 by ourselves, yours truly. 97 laps led out of 125, yours truly. Casey Kane started 30th, finished 13th on the move. Austin Dillon, tough break, started 18th, finished 33rd. Season standing got moved up to second. And we're going to check out the season standings, look at the bubble, who needs points, who needs wins in just a moment. Up next, the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 in Texas. We might do that. Might do that today. Might go. Uh, might go three episodes today. Do a rare, rare occurrence. I switched it down to 97 on the difficulty. It's still hard. It's still really hard, but uh, it's not as stressful and not as not as anger-inducing for me. So we might bump it right back up. We'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in Texas, and we'll go from there. Season standings, Kyle Busch, yours truly, Joey Logano, Martin Truex Jr., and Kurt Busch round out the top five. Hamlin, Harvick, Elliott, Larson, and Al Marola will give you the top ten. There's your next set there. Blaney on the bubble there trying to crack the top ten. He is only four points behind Al Marola. Eric Jones is eight points. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is 14 points behind, and it's just a steady down, down flow from there. Where is Harrison Rhodes? Still in 35th because he can't do shit. <laughs> he got that, like I said, he got that one, like, fifth place, and he can't do anything afterwards. Anyway, checking out the bubble. Wins. Dylan Almanager, Greg Galding, Chris Boucher, and David Reagan. Needs points, Casey Kane, Bowman, Menard, Johnson, and Trevor Bain. I think that changed by like two racers from last last episode. Jimmy Johnson, what's going on, man? He's not doing anything. This is so weird. He's usually one of the kings of the track, but uh, he's not. Anyway... Next episode, we're going to try to chase down Kyle Busch. Hope he doesn't get his third win of the season. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go make myself some Hot Pockets.